Do you like hip hop? Of course. Who do you like? You know, I got to admit, uh, lately I've been listening to a lot of Jay Z, Kanye. I like, and you know, I I think the potential for them to deliver a message uh, of extraordinary power that that gets people thinking. I mean, you know, the th the thing about hip hop uh, today is it's smart. I mean, you know, a lot, it's it's insightful. You know, and and they, uh, you know, the, the the way that they can communicate uh, a complex message in a very short space is is remarkable. And a lot of these kids, they're not going to be reading the New York Times. Right. Uh, you know, th th that's not how they're getting their information. So the question then is, what's the content? What's the message? I understand folks want to be rooted in the community. They want to be down. But what I always say is, is that you know, it, uh, hip hop is not just a mirror of what is. It should also be a reflection of what can be. Uh, and you know, a lot of times folks say, well, I want to keep it real and mm -hmm. I want to be down. And then we're just trapped in, you know, what is. The question is, you know, imagine something different. Imagine uh, communities that aren't torn up by violence. Imagine communities that uh, where we're respecting our women. Imagine communities where uh, knowledge and, and reading and, you know, academic excellence are valued. Imagine communities where fathers are doing right by their kids. I, you know, that's also something that has to be reflected. We don't, mm -hmm. art can't just be a rear view mirror. Right. You know, it should have a headlight out there. You know, so, so hip hop to where we need to go. needs to have the audacity of hope. Audacity of hope. Check this out. Alan Iverson has a new do. AI has cut his braids. What do you think, Jim? All good things must come to an end. Whether it's a jerry curl, whether it's a gumby, whether it's a high top fade. Hundreds of people follow the NBA when the Trails Three Wheel and Alan Iverson with their corn rolls. And it was a storm throughout the nation. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everybody else follows suit after this. Just ready for a change. You know, Obama the president now, man. It's all about change. <laughs> So I understand it, and when you're running for the presidency, uh, then you've got to expect it, uh, and you know, you've just got to kind of let it, you know, you know, it's what you got to do. Take over, the break's over, guard MC. You're going to be able to vote one day. Right, this young lady right here is a perfect example of why we, why we have to vote, right? Because she's going to grow up with the belief that she could be anything and it means something. Like, too, for too long, we were excluded from the American dream. And now we have a chance to be a part of the American dream. And we have to make history happen. So that young lady right there, maybe she could be president one day. You understand? Obama's running so we all can fly. Peace and love. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'm on Team Obama. I'm on Team USA. I'm on Team Black America. I want to be greater. I want to be greater than I am right now. And I want you to be greater. I want us to be greater. It was a creed written into the founding documents that declared the destiny of a nation. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung by immigrants as they struck out the shores of pioneers and pushed westward against.